मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द टॉपिक रिएक्टिव लिम्फेडिनोपैथी बिफोर दैट विल गिव द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ लिम्फेडिनोपैथी देन विल कंटिन्यू विद द कॉजेस सिम्टम्स डायग्नोसिस ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ रिएक्टिव लिम्फेडिनोपैथी this will this diagram indicates the major no, lymphatic nodes present in our body with the differential diagnosis before studying the reactive lymphadenopathy let's know what lymphadenopathy is lymphadenopathy or adenopathy is the disease of the lymph nodes in which they are abnormal in size number or consistency lymphadenopathy of an inflammatory type is lymphadenitis producing swollen or enlarged lymph nodes it is very difficult to distinguish between lymphadenopathy and lymphadenitis and usually the words are treated as synonymous what then what is lymphangitis lymphangitis in, is inflammation of the lymphatic vessels slides give the major locations of the lymph nodes present in our body they are posterior auricular occipital superficial cervical deep cervical posterior cervical supraclavicular preauricular parotid tonsillar submental and the submandibular lymph nodes lymphadenopathy comes from the combination of the greek words gland and suffering lymphadenopathy is a common and non specific sign other common causes include infections or due to some autoimmune diseases and cancers lymphadenopathy is also frequently idiopathic and self limiting reactive lymphadenopathy it is the term for the lymph glands becoming swollen in response to infection or injury it often happens in children as the immunity is still developing in fact most of the time reactive lymph nodes are harmless so now come to the topic reactive lymph nodes what are the causes of reactive lymph nodes reactive lymph nodes are a sign that your lymphatic system is working hard to protect you lymph fluid builds up in the lymph nodes in an effort to trap bacteria viruses or other harmful pathogens this helps to keep the infection from spreading to other parts of our body this Uh, they also sometimes occur as a result of an autoimmune disease such as lupus these are conditions that involve your immune system mistakenly attacking your body's tissues in addition children often experience reactive lymph nodes as they first come into contact with new germs throughout childhood even if they don't have an infection common bacterial or viral infections that can cause reactive lymph node include strep throat ear infection tooth abscess skin or wound infection mononucleosis human immunodeficiency virus includes sexually transmitted infections toxoplasmosis lupus rheumatoid arthritis reactions to certain anti seizure and malaria prevention medications measles
comes the symptoms of reactive lymphadenopathy the main symptoms are the area around the lymph node swells the body contains hundreds of lymph nodes and they swell most often in the neck and around the face along the groin and under the arms when lymph nodes swell because of an infection or injury the swollen lymph nodes are usually smaller than 1.5 cm in diameter and are soft and mo mobile this is of reactive lymphadenopathy since reactive lymph nodes are usually a symptom of, of an underlying infection so your doctor will start by asking about other symptoms asking about your vital signs they may also feel your lymph nodes and ask if you experience any pain or tenderness while examining the lymph nodes depending upon your symptoms physical examination is done a blood test or an mri scanning can be done the last but the important part of the slide is the treatment swollen lymph nodes often don't need any treatment some minor viral infections such as the flu simply have to run their course and they pass on viral infections generally can't be treated with antibiotics for the painful and the tender lymph nodes just a warm wet compress is given to the area to the swollen area for the pain a painkiller is usually given and for the advice of the patient plenty of rest and fluids other infections such as bacterial infections may require antibiotics or other medications now for the treatment we treatment with the most important medicines are thuja belladonna oniamec etc